Hello and welcome to Stockton Junction. Uh, this is the second video for today, and I'm going to be doing some weathering on this uh, Hornby tractor barn. Uh, but before I continue, I just wanted to show you the trees now that they've dried and looking quite good. Nice variation of colouring in there, which I quite like. I also forgot that I had a whole load of these little plastic armature trees so I've done most of those as well so I've got quite a few trees there but I'd like to say um that there that you know 20 quid with the trees if you go to a model shop and buy a couple of ready-made big trees it'll cost you 20 quid just for two or two or three so um with the, that's with the postage obviously be aware when you if you're using the hobby king site there are um there are some that are delivered from the UK and some that come from Europe or uh, China etc and they cost multi they cost a lot more postage to so make sure you only buy the ones from UK uh, stores because uh, otherwise it will cost a fortune in postage but that was 20 quid all in for those trees so an absolute bargain and they look pretty good um, obviously the next job I'll be putting them in situ uh, for the next video uh, after this one and um, we'll have a look at how they look mixed in with some of the better trees obviously hiding them a little bit and um, I think they're going to be quite good so we'll go on to this for now um, what I'm going to be using is some MIG stuff uh, products they're very good and I'm just going to have to place the camera down because uh, it's the only way I'm going to be able to uh, film and work on it at the same time. So, these resin buildings are pretty good. I've already done a little bit of weathering on it anyway. As you can see, this water streaking effect. I've done a bit of that, which was just a test. And that is this MIG product, which is Rainmark Effects. Sorry, very good product. It's obviously a quite a whitish colour, but over this slatish roof, it looks pretty good. That's already given that pretty much a, a weathering on that, which I did as a test really because I wanted to use this on something else that I was working on, so I wanted to use that as a test base. Um, so the products I'm going to use today is it's enamel dark wash is the main base color that i'm going to use and pretty much just a little bit as you can see that you've got the grime on the bottom here for that i'm going to re-go over it with this slimy uh grime and that's pretty much it so uh a few things you need to have to hand is a bit of water you may find, if you put too much on, in fact, I haven't got any clean water, but that'll be fine. If you put too much on and you find that you need to get some off, not a problem. Just use some water, wash it off. Although it is an enamel, it's not an acrylic paint. And the other thing that I find is to have a bit of kitchen towel handy, just in case you need it um, I was tempted to paint all these drain pipes in black because I didn't like the red very much but I think by the time I put the washes over it it's gonna be fine so given that a little shake up yeah don't be scared to use plenty of this it's not I think it'll look pretty dark to start with But what I want to do is pick out obviously it's going to go a bit darker colour on the bottom where that other colour is on there already because it is a wash not a paint you will get some running down and some darker bits along the bottom you'll need to keep an eye on that in a minute which I'll show you 
So I'm just going to what I'm looking for is a really old weathered look to the barn I don't want it to look like it's new I want to make it look like it's been sat there for a long time so I can do all the insides I'd actually had a practice on the inside in there, which wasn't shown before. If you do need to practice a technique before using it, um, always do it on an area of the model that's not going to be shown. So for instance, if you're putting the model that way on your layout, you could have a practice on the back wall, on this back wall here, because it's not gonna, affect anything so this is what i'm talking about though like here we've got some congregation of big patches you need to try and take some of that off before it dries or it will dry on there So, not looking too bad so far. It was a new product that I tried out um, for my water mill that I'm building at the moment, which is a ratio kit. It's one of the Craftsman series, I think it is, um, where you have to literally cut all the parts out yourself um, from sheets. It's sort of a start into scratch building almost, because none of it is pre-cut the windows aren't cut the doors aren't cut so you have to do it all yourself and paint it all and stuff so I painted it all up but I didn't I wanted to weather it so I thought oh, I'll try this wash out and it's um surprisingly good it's already looking 10 times better than that it also is quite good um, on doors and wood effects as we'll see and this bit isn't even going to be seen from where I'm putting the model but if I'm going to weather it, I might as well do the whole thing. And as you can see, it's a very, very quick process. It's not um, extremely long process. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's very easy. Any problem is trying to pick it up now once I've... Uh, paint on most of the edges do want to cover this guttering just to tone it down from that bright red And I am using this straight out of the pot, not watering it down at all. 
no need to unless you really want a lot thinner wash then you'd need some suitable enamel thinners but I also find these enamel washes go over acrylic paints better than an acrylic wash I actually had some issues with acrylic washes recently where the start putting the acrylic wash on and what's happened is it started taking some of the acrylic paint off as well whereas the enamel wash doesn't seem to do that so that's quite an interesting little fact If you need to take some off, what I'm doing is I'm dabbing the brush to get the excess off. And then you can dab the brush back onto the area where it's a bit thick. And the brush will soak up some of the paint. I just need to make sure I've done all edges. So just go around, double check these ed bottom edges again. Right there. I think you can see that's uh brought that doorway up quite quite nicely actually. It's brought out some of the detailing better. And I have to say that automatically looks a lot better aged than it did straight out of the box. I mean, some of these uh, resin buildings are great, but they do need a bit of weathering to really bring them to life and to make them look more realistic so that they blend in with what you're doing. Just going to wash my brush. So that's the first stage of that. And I'm um, going to have to leave it there because obviously this needs to dry thoroughly before I'm going to go on to the slime around the bottom edges and some maybe some rainwater marks coming down from the edge of the guttering where I might have a little leak there, etc. And maybe a couple coming down off the edge of the roof just to make it uh, look a little bit better. So uh, we'll leave that for now and I'm... Um, I hope you agree that that's looking pretty good already and when it's in situ I think it's going to look even better with a in the farmyard that uh, um, I will show you on uh, my update video for the whole area that I'm doing working on at the moment and thanks for watching I shall come back with part two of this video um, in Maybe later, but if not, in a few days' time. Right. Thank you, and goodbye.